Hey everybody, um, today we're going down to do, again I'm going to say, I always say I do, I don't say no to much. This is a home I've been working on, um, did a previous video where I put some pumps in the basement and got rid of a water issue. While I was down there I found uh, <clears throat> some interesting things, it, it, it's, a, it's a relative that has this home and she doesn't know a lot about what's going on, you know, or what to look at. I think it's kind of funny that quite a few people have walked around this basement, like in, I guess you'd say doing an inspection on it. And no one caught, I caught, when I went, I'm walking across from one side of the basement to the other and there's hot water heaters you gotta walk through. I don't know if it showed in that past video or not, but I got looking at it. She had a tenant there for a while and it's a rental in a two bedroom that, uh, I believe was evicted. Well, I found out um, this is a new world we live in now. This is a rental property. Um, someone that the one that got evicted went down in the basement of this place, jumped power off the neighboring apartment. This is an old 1800s, late 1800s house, and the two bedroom apartment has access to the basement. Legally, you really can't lock doors and stuff like that. So Someone that lived there knew enough to go downstairs. I, I believe what they did is they probably didn't pay their electric bill. It got shut off. They went downstairs and jumped power off the neighboring apartment. It, as dangerous as that sounds. I, I found that, disconnected it. Um, it was like a back feed thing, it, it, not good. It was pretty easy to get disconnected. And then uh, the next day, just walking back and forth, I noticed the, um, one of the hot water heaters, there's four hot water heaters because it's a four unit apartment. One of the hot water heaters was in, didn't have a cold water line going to it and the hot water line was disconnected. So I thought that was kind of weird. So I get looking at the hot water heater that's like six feet away and there's a T on it. So I, so two days later I found out that uh, these people jumped hot water off the neighboring apartment. <clears throat> so <clears throat> nothing surprises me anymore. Uh, this is the world we live in now. Um, I'm not saying that all renters are bad, but boy, you, uh, I, I know this house pretty well. I, I know the uh, person that had it before her. The stuff we've run into over the years and the damage that was done to this is just uh, mind boggling over the years, what people think. And again, I wanna make it clear, I don't think all renters are bad, but boy, there's, there's people that rent um, because they're financially not stable. In this case here, I think that they looked back and found out there was no power. They lost their power. They figured out after she got evicted, uh, power wasn't on when she got evicted. So they were getting hot showers off someone else's money uh, and enough power to stay there. I'm going to guess they plugged their refrigerator and stuff like that that they needed in probably a couple of lamps. I don't say no to much, but this is kind of an odd thing, but I'm trying to help her out. When I looked at it that day, they disconnected that hot water heater and never shut the breaker off. So it basically burned out. So now on top of all this, another thing I believe that was done is a, there's a lot, now I looked at it and have to hook stuff back up. There's a lot of the copper plumbing missing. So I believe that they disconnected as much as they could to get the copper out of it. And it's just, it's, it, uh, I don't know what's happening in the rest of this country, but New Hampshire, uh, I've seen everything from houses getting broken to at midnight so they can go in and cut the copper out of it the last five or 10 years. I'm saddened by how bad this country's got. Out of my landscape business right up until a few years ago was property management. I did a lot of property management on top of it. Um, I've had, <clears throat> I had elderly housing I kept care of. I, I, I completely, I did the landscape there plus I also managed the whole property. So that's another reason I'm, I do a lot of this other stuff. Before I started this landscape company, I did modular homes and mobile homes and uh, pretty much whatever fell in my lap I can deal with is how I, that's how I've got where I'm at. I enjoy doing the landscaping more, uh, but like I said, customers that I've had for years, I try to help them out in every way I can. I've also had that attitude if I'm on a job site and it's something I'm capable of doing, You'll see, I'm a landscape company, but you'll probably see me build decks. Um, I don't say no to much. Um, I do a lot of decks. I used to do, you know, small garage, garages, uh, sheds. 
I'm starting to get to where I think I might actually start doing some more uh, carpentry, even though I'm a landscape company. Election years are normally a little bit of a hiccup in what's going on anyways. People get nervous about spending money on an election year. What's going on in the country right now, I think people are very nervous. So um, I'm not planning. Right now, I'm normally booked out through August, and I've got not much on the books. If I was 10 years ago in this business, I'd probably be probably have ulcers right now because it's so slow. I've got 25 years of customer base around me, so I believe I'll have enough work to keep the ball rolling. Um, but some of these younger guys that went out and spent big bucks on equipment, I think are going to be in for a surprise. I just don't think, uh, I have gone out. Um, I went out this weekend and got a couple small jobs. I got to do a water line from a house to a garage and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think there's going to be no big, uh, complete revamp landscape jobs. Um, and if they are, there's going to be 10 guys bidding on it to where there's, you're not going to make money. My plan this year is I'm going to lay back. And I'll go bid on something, but I'm not going to adjust my price. Um, I've looked at three different tree jobs over the winter that we had trees come down because of the weird weather we're having. And I got under bid big time on all three of them and didn't get those. And like I said, I'm blessed enough to be in business long enough to where I don't have a bunch of payments basically on my equipment. And the guys that do are going to have to you know, suck it up and do that to keep the ball rolling. I can see the last year around me, this part of New Hampshire, people have really laid back on the spending. We still got a lot, a little bit of a housing, housing boom here because for whatever reason, when COVID happened, uh, this town I live in has got a lot of lakefront properties, camps, a lot of people moved up to their camps to escape the cities. Um, so we had a little bit of a boom from COVID where other areas were pretty, you know, it saddened really what happened to parts of the country. My business boomed through COVID. Um, everybody that came up to their camps uh, wanted stuff done because they were spending so much more time there. And it, it, it worked out good for me. But anyways, I thought I'd do a, a, an intro to this video. Uh, I think it would be a pretty interesting thing to watch. <laughs> I'd like to know what people think too. Uh, I got the hot water heaters down here and unpackaged. I'm gonna probably get them over here afterwards. Um, these are the two. Uh, these are the two that we're replacing. And I'm gonna guess that because these wires pulled out, instead of putting a T on it. Uh, to get the hot water from someone else. I, I'm almost thinking they were thinking at one time of jumping the power and didn't do it because those covers um, should be on those. But I just thought I'd take a shot before we start and we're gonna go from here. What we gotta do is figure out, um, they got the T and it's feeding, that one tank's feeding two apartments, but they got a bunch of these uh, hoses they are they are made uh, for those braided hoses are made for hot water heaters but when they were using this I think they just put a bunch of those together it's kind of like uh, I don't believe that one that's like a washing machine one uh, that would probably fail but these here are the hot water heater ones I've seen them before but none of these shut off valves um, show better with a flashlight but all oh, this green piping's got me a little, little bit nervous to be honest with you that shut off isn't working it's dripping water so I gotta see if I can uh, put a shut off someplace else uh, I basically want to shut things off long enough to put a better shut off valve in because I don't I want to get rid of all those turnstile and put ball valves in I, I just there's a lot of stuff missing like I said they took the copper so I gotta figure this all out. Right now I'm gonna finish draining this. This is uh they put a new water conditioner in too, so I think the stuff's gonna last a little bit better because of that. I just wanna show that's the cold water that's going to the two bedroom apartment. I took that apart, put one new piece of copper, uh those shock bites. Someone had already changed that 90 to a shock bite. That's what they call these fittings. Um you can adapt them from copper to plastic. But I changed that over to a ball valve. 
Um, looking at the floor, it's pretty wet. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I changed that kind of live. <laughs> uh, did pretty good. It came apart and, um, and put it back together. So now I'm going to convert that to plastic and then go to this flex line for the hot water heater. What I got is a show you my box I, I got like six or seven uh, uh, probably seven or eight of these plumbing boxes but what I did is I changed this over to PEX so that will screw into the hot water heater end and then what you do with that end is you put this insert in it and then you can put it into the shock bite but you put this in there to make that end a little stronger um, I'll to show you on camera but basically you slide that in that end and it keeps it more rigid but I'm going to adapt it over to that I just figured I'd show we're at a point I still have the old style tool um, when you change that end out uh, you can I, I think it goes from 3 8 all the way up to one inch pipe but I've never had it fail they do make a more modern version I think they even make a PEX 2 type stuff now um, but I've had good luck with this I've never had an issue before this, there was a company called Quest that was a nut cone and ring style that you could put stuff together, but um, that's what this gray stuff is. I still keep them because I had them. Uh, I used to do a lot of mobile home work. Once in a while, and nine o'clock at night, if that's all you got, it's better than not having nothing. <laughs> I don't do this much anymore. I used to do a lot more. I just figured I'd take a shot where at this point. I got the hot water heater in place, got rid of the other one. Um, and like I said, we'll get this this one filling, and then I'm probably going to break for lunch. But I just figured I'd take a shot where right now. I'm trying to clean up some other stuff that's down here. Uh, there's a couple fittings. The shut off valve, I, sh I, was, I actually did uh, shut one off, and it was leaking after. So I went to the, uh, I was going to do go to the main, but the main still is screwing style two, not a ball valve. So I'm just nervous if I do shut the water off it's going to do the same thing and drip after and i don't want to uh this is an old old house you could chase this plumbing thing i i want to get the hot water heaters working and uh there's a lot of pressure there though because this is a cellar and this is a four unit so and there's a the be i think i believe there's a bathroom on the highest point of the house too so there's a lot of back just pressure that wanted to come out of there even if you shut it off you're still going to get drenched so i just figured i'd do it live <laughs> Uh, but we'll get back to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but like that fitting right there That's a ball valve which I was gonna leave but it's actually you can see it seeping and turning green so I don't know what all that there's nothing about that that looks good. So I'm gonna shut the water off um, Tomorrow Yeah Everybody's home today. I think tomorrow a couple of the apartments are uh, empty So I'm going to uh, shut the water off tomorrow long enough to change some of these valves. I got that one changed um, And this hot water heater's got I put the cold water to it. It's all hooked up um, So I think we'll get we're prepping this one so that tomorrow will be an easy transition to go from that crap um I don't like the the wiring. I just unbelievable how this was left, and someone looked at this and let that fly. I believe this house was inspected, so <laughs> uh, by multiple people, and no one had a problem with that being that way. You know, it's just like, and, and I won't lie to you, it's obvious. Never had a problem. I just don't like leaving stuff like that. I went up and got the right connections, and um, we'll see where it goes from here. I want to show. I put a couple new shutoffs, actually four, five, six new shutoffs over here uh, so that you can stop the back pressure from all those pipes going up three stories above this. Um, plus, I wanted to be able to shut each individual unit off if we had to. Um, but I got this one completely done. I just figured I'd take a shot now where the plumbing's at. And this is the cluster of crap. Um, I don't understand what all these... Uh, that was turning green. That one was actually dripping. And I don't know if you can see it, but the other side of uh, that that one there was dripping. All I had to do was like wiggle the stuff around this thing and everything started dripping. So 
I let all the tenants know I had to shut the water off today for like a half hour and um, I don't really understand what all the hoses were other than uh, there was a lot of copper missing and I just replaced it with PEX so basically right now we just gotta drain that last hot water heater jump the wire over to this one get it all put together I'm also putting the covers on the way they're supposed to be I don't understand that's just with water above it I don't understand why you would want that protected a little bit better I'm probably gonna fix this one even though it's work operational I just don't like leaving it that way everything's hooked back up they're heating up right now um, we're just letting that tank finish draining I gotta haul that out of here that is a heavy tank I don't know what the deal is the other one once the water came out of it wasn't bad that one's still it's gonna be a little bit of a bear to get up out of here the cellar staircases in this house too are old <laughs> Uh, just slow and easy, but I just wanted to show we got those in. Um, another thing I'm going to show over here is I would never, I would never suggest getting involved with these old houses with the plumbing without having it. Like I said, I used to do a lot of uh, main, property maintenance, so you get into whatever plumbing leaks in the middle of the night, and that's what it was. It was always nine, ten o'clock at night. You'd get that call. Um, so I always had a pretty good arsenal of stuff. I got a couple of plumbing bags with a lot of goodies in it too, but um, Just another thing we do. I, I say it on all my videos. I'm a landscaper that does a lot of other stuff It's been a few years since I got in this deep with something, but uh, I don't really mind doing it um, And there seems to be less people that want to do it So it might be something you see me do more if I can help someone out in this case here I'm helping somebody out. That's a relative. We got both tanks in place. The other one's out which getting the other ones for whatever reason that 52 gallon was heavy uh, it must have had a lot of sediment or something they put a new water conditioner in here uh, about six months ago and everybody says the water is way better there was always a problem with manganese and iron in this house uh, like I said I know this house pretty well I knew the person that had it before her um, but I just figured I'd do this video I think it it's just another thing we do pretty much helping her out doing this um, there's some other issues and like I said there'll be a few more videos on this house once the weather breaks and things dry out we got to put some foundation drains but um, I thought this would make a cool video hopefully you guys think the same uh, and again if you like my content please like and subscribe and thanks for watching